Hello YouTube, I'm Peter and welcome to my kitchen. So today I have a really fun bake. It's just the start of summer and that means a few things. One, <laughs> the rain started to come down, but that's to be expected as the school holidays have just begun. Number two, the summer means that I've got a lot more time to bake. And number three, Wimbledon has started. It's a really great time, I love coming back and watching all the highlights of the tennis. And I've been inspired today to make a Wimbledon themed bake. What I've got in front of me here is this Pull Apart Wimbledon Logo Cupcake Cake. It's really fun to make, surprisingly simple and easy, and I think it gives a really great result. If you've got any friends going around to watch any of the tennis, it's going to be a really great thing to have so that people can just dip in and out, take a cupcake, pull one away, and you have this really fun, inviting centerpiece that doesn't take long to make at all. So I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. So to start off this bake, what I'm first going to need is to ice the cupcakes. So in here I've got some purple Italian round buttercream and in here some green Italian round buttercream. For the buttercream recipe, you can go and check out my last video on how to make Italian round buttercream. You only need about 20 mini cupcakes for this recipe, but I've got a lot spare in case anything goes wrong, because this is the first time I've done this. So I'm going to start icing all the cupcakes. If you're just going to be making one of these, you're going to need about 7 green, green ice cupcakes and 13 purple ice cupcakes. These mini cupcake cases are really easy to come by. You just make a normal sponge recipe and bake them for about 9 minutes and it should be perfect. So I'm going to get started on icing these cupcakes. Excellent, so now all of the cupcakes are iced. I've got a few more of the purple than of the greens, so into the fridge we go. So now that the cupcakes are in the fridge and are chilling down, let me come on to the next bit of decoration for the, I don't know what we're gonna call it, uh, cupcake cake design thing? Uh, cupcake cake. So for this, uh, what I've done is I've printed out the Wimbledon logo, and then I've cut out the central tennis racket. Great, so, now that we've got our two little cutouts here, we're going to roll out some fondant and then trace around these using our really sharp knife again. And then we're going to leave them to dry and set. And then we're going to have our decorations for the cake. So I've cut out the tennis racket design and actually for the ball, I found a piping bag nozzle that uh, just is about the perfect size and that's going to make it a heck of a lot easier to cut out the ball, like so. So we're just going to leave these two designs on a, just a flat plate and I'm going to get a fish slice for this because that's going to break if I don't. Back in a minute. Uh, sketchy. Sketchy. We're just going to leave them for a couple of hours to dry and they'll go really hard and firm. Actually at the moment I'm going to cut out another one of each of them so that I have a spare in case everything goes pear-shaped. I'm sure it won't. It'll all be fine. It'll all be good. Oakley dokley So what we've done is that we've just left the fondant to dry a wee bit. It's just firmed up and this means it's going to be a lot easier to put any details on it. To put the details on it I've actually got an edible food marker in black. These are really easy to get a hold of. I just got them off Amazon. So as you can see on the racket and the ball and the cutouts that hopefully I should have linked in the description if I've been able to work out how to do that. They've got the uh, coloring for the strings. There's a wee outline, a wee pattern on the handle. So we're just gonna mimic these really onto the racket. Perfecto! So, now I have all my lovely little cupcakes and I have my fondant cutouts and it's just time to put it all together and make it look nice. So, what I'm going to need to do first is start with all the green cupcakes, then I'm going to do a ring of purple cupcakes around the outside 
and then I'll put all my decorations and it should hopefully look like the Wimbledon logo. So I'm going to start off with this central green cupcake and then I'm just going to work all the way around it. I'm going to try and pack these in nice and tight all together. And then I'm going to go around the edge of that with some purple ones. Okay, so now that all the cupcakes are in a nice wee ring formation, I'm just going to slide on top of the Hey, voila! The Wimbledon logo made out of many cupcakes. I'm pretty pleased with that. Looks good. So that's how you make my pull away Wimbledon logo cupcake treat thing. It's really easy and fun to make this. If you've got someone that is mad about tennis and they have a birthday coming up, why don't you try this instead of making a big cake? It's a lot easier to do this sort of fun, simple design. And I think that it looks really good. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for some more baking videos. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.